Let's just stop the music. And uh, I know that um, Councilor Caitlin Jordan is not able to make tonight's meeting. Uh, she's traveling. So um, with everybody else logged in, um, we can go ahead and get underway. Um, so let's start, please, with the roll call from the town clerk, please. Chairman Garvin? Here. Councilor Boucher? Here. Councilor Devereaux? Here. Councilor Gabrielson? Here. Councilor Caitlin Jordan? Councilor Penelope Jordan? Here. Councilor Noonan? Here. We do have a quorum. Thank you very much. Can we do the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Uh, is there anybody joining us tonight, on which we have just two people at the moment, that wants to talk about anything that's not on the agenda for tonight's special meeting? So. The uh, items for tonight are all about uh, fiscal 22 budget. Is there anyone that would like to speak about anything not on the agenda? Seeing none, we will go to item number five on the agenda, public hearing for the fiscal year 2022 general fund and special revenue funds budgets. Um, at uh, our April, 27th meeting, we voted to hold a public hearing this evening on the proposed budget uh, for the general fund, both municipal and school, as well as the special revenue uh, funds budgets. Um, so we will be doing that tonight and it's anticipated that the vote on the general fund uh, will be uh, at our May 10th meeting. So uh, we'll look to open the public hearing. We now have three people in the audience. Is there anybody joining us tonight? that would like to speak about these items. And I guess maybe before that, Matt, do you wanna, maybe it would be helpful for folks either joining us or watching um, to do a quick overview, either you or, or Jeremy, a quick overview of the pro forma and sort of the top line, bottom line items. I'd be happy to Mr. Chairman, if uh, finance chair Gabrielson is, is good with that. Thank you. Uh, so uh, what we have on this evening's agenda are, uh, we have the municipal and school uh, budgets uh, to be moving forward. Uh, currently the municipal expenditures are scheduled to be $16,857,021, an increase of $54,227 uh, from last year or 0.32 cents, of, sorry, 0.32 of 1% above last year's expenditures. Uh, on the county assessment, that is looking to uh, to increase, uh, actually, uh, sorry, increase from 1,518,473 to 1,556,320. Uh, an increase of $37,847 or 2.49%. And on the school side, you're looking at uh, expenditures in the amount of 29,857. 097, an increase of $1,367,085 or 4.8%. Uh, on the revenue side, the town is anticipating revenues in the amount of $8,818,272. It's an increase of $1,622,793 or 22.55%. Uh, additionally, we'll be using municipal fund balance in the amount of a million dollars to offset capital expenses. And then, on the, and then on the school side, they're looking at $1,818,689 uh, in revenue for a, slight, for a slight decrease, but also applying $740,000 worth of school fund balance towards the difference. That ends up with a net to be raised for the town side on the municipal side of $7,038,750 or 5.81%. Uh, there's also on the school side, they're looking at a net of two, uh, $27,298,408 uh, or 3.91%. When that all comes down uh, to final calculations, the municipal tax rate is, at, is estimated at $4.13, an increase of $0.14 cents or 3.51% from last year. 
the county assessment is up 89 cents, or, or is that 89 cents a two cent increase or 2.3% up from last year? And on the school department, there is an increase to $15.58 or 52 cent increase at 3.45%. These all combined would have an estimated tax rate of $20.60 uh, or an increase of 68 cents over last year or two point, uh, sorry, 3.41%. Uh, with, with that being said, Mr. Chairman, uh, over the past week or so, uh, the, the main legislature has acted to increase revenue sharing to towns. Uh, one bill passed last week going back to January 1st. Uh, that's currently going back to, I, I think the finance for uh, or appropriations to find how they are going to fund that amount or how that will be done, what the fiscal note is. Uh, so we'll have that to report on hopefully by next week, but that uh, will have a significant increase uh, in, in, well, increase for one, as well as an improvement on, on fiscal year 22's budget. Uh, what I'm looking at right now, uh, at least under the current impact, uh, our revenue sharing, for instance, we, we had estimated this year to be at 750,000. We're at 94% of that at the present time. So we were tracking ahead of that already. So that's gonna have a, a, a definite positive impact over the last two months of receivables for the uh, for, for this year's fiscal year. Uh, one item that I'm thinking of, and we can have this for next week's uh, final budget, at least at this point, it's still an estimate, but I think we can estimate that uh, we could have at least $200,000 more in revenue sharing revenues to come to the town. Uh, with that being said, I've done some calculations uh, this afternoon based on that estimate. If we are to receive that and book that, that would bring the town tax rate uh, because uh, let me be clear, revenue sharing is a direct revenue stream on the municipal side. Schools have, uh, have what they call uh, uh, state, state aid to education and, uh, or they call that also the 479s. You've heard them refer to that at school budget meetings. Uh, they, that is their, their avenue or a hallway of revenues from the state. Ours is revenue sharing. Uh, so that's a specific area. But with that being increased, if we if we book an additional two hundred thousand in the, in the coming year's budget, uh, that would increase the town's tax rate an impact of three cents to, total. So we would go instead of at four four dollars and thirteen cents to four dollars and two cents as an estimate, roughly three quarters of one percent increase on the town tax rate. Uh, that's pretty significant, and uh, but we're looking to bring that forward for next week for final action, at least uh, at that point in time. It may be greater. Uh, and ultimately, it comes down to when the town commits taxes is when that impact will be felt on the on the final tax rate that's set by the assessor. But needless to say, that's great news to have uh, at the start of May, uh, particularly when you have a budget hearing uh, on the municipal budget uh, this evening. So I hope that's uh, useful information, and uh, we will we will refine that for next week uh, with the posting. But uh, hopefully, that will buoy the spirits of those uh, hearing this news. And uh, happy to take any questions. Um, number one, thanks. That's a great and good concise overview, Matt, and also great um, delivery of good news. So um, hopefully that comes through as anticipated. So um, <clears throat> we still just have the three folks in the um, audience joining us. Is there any anybody among you that's interested in speaking as part of our public hearing on these two budget items tonight? If so, use the Zoom, uh, raise hand in the Zoom meeting. Um, and you'll be called on to be recognized. I see Andy Patton has raised his hand. So we'll go to you in just a second, Andy. Matt will open up your mic. If you could just give us your name and address when he does, and then also limit your comments to about three minutes if you don't mind. And your mic is open, go ahead, Andy. Sure, good afternoon, good, good evening. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear, go ahead. Thanks, uh, my name is Andy Patton. I live at One Warbler Drive. I've lived in town for nearly five years and uh, wanted to speak in support of the budget, not only the school budget, but also the town budget. Uh, first of all, I just wanna say that um, I think uh, the, what the work is, the work that's been done by the council and staff uh, during COVID has just been remarkable and uh, I as a citizen really appreciate the hard work, uh, particularly with staff as well. Um, one of the greatest gifts uh, you can give is the gift of time and uh, I, I as a citizen really appreciate it. 
<clears throat> the same holds true to the, for the school board, what they've been able to accomplish in terms of getting a new principal and a new superintendent in the midst of all the challenges they've had has uh, been quite remarkable. So um, kudos to them as well. Um, I was on the building committee uh, and we just uh, for uh, full disclosure, and we did support, um, you know, an effort to hopefully bring forward to the town the next steps that would come to uh, perhaps bringing a uh, new school, new Pond Grove and a new middle school into the fold. Um, I've been around community work in the past and uh, the process that's unfolding that's taken now two or three years, which is gonna hopefully result in a $300,000 uh, expenditure for schematic and design is just another step that towns take that um, will allow the town and the town's people to make a, a uh, you know, have more and more input into the process. So I'm very comfortable with that and with that piece in the school budget. Uh, with respect to the town, um, I happen to be a facilities kind of guy, an infrastructure kind of guy. So going forward, my only hope is that we continue to, you know, look after our, our, our infrastructure and our, and our buildings in a lot more transparent way. And I would propose, uh, since we have a new gentleman down at the DPW and we have, we're going to be pushing a reset with a new facilities person coming in that we think is a town to try and elevate the capital improvement projects and some of the other things that are clearly we, I believe we need as a resident and just put them in front of the town and make that more of a prominent discussion point because I think people like their houses are willing to pay and should be willing to pay. All those taxes are very sensitive. I think, I think there'll be a greater acceptance for some of the things. I don't know all the different issues that the town has with other than the fact that they have about 60 roads according to uh, uh, Jay Reynolds uh, cover letter in the budget. So I'd like to see us do you know, a better job of raising that. So I'm delighted to see we're gonna take the steps around uh, Shore Road and some of the culverts and some of the other kinds of things. And I support the work of, of all the town and particularly you folks. So um, I hope the budget passes, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Patton, appreciate your comments. Is there anybody else joining tonight um, that would like to speak as part of the public hearing on the budget items? We're up to four folks now, uh, I'll note. Uh, last chance before I close the public hearing. Okay, seeing none, the public hearing is now closed. Uh, so we'll move on to the individual agenda items for uh, these budget items. So the next one is number six in the agenda. It's item 74-2021. This is the specific uh, 2022 general fund budget. Looking for a motion to schedule the vote on this budget which would be uh, anticipated for Monday, May 10th at 7 p.m. Um, with the expenditures and revenues that Matt just detailed for us um, about five minutes ago. So uh, would any counselor like to make a motion? Sure. Yeah. Um, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Moved by, <laughs> counselor, moved by counselor Noonan. <laughs> yes. No, that's fine. Moved by counselor okay. Noonan. Is there a second? Yeah. Second. Second by Councilor Penny Jordan. Is there any discussion? Again, we're just we're just voting to send this to a vote next week. So, do we need to edit it at all because it, the amounts might be changing? So I think I heard Matt say that it would be updated for okay for the packet for next week if there's something that needs um, that needs to be updated. So until that's finalized, we'll we'll just leave this as is. But um, we can make sure that that's reflected in whatever the latest is at next week's meeting. Seeing no other discussion, uh, Deb, can you call the roll for the vote, please? Councilor Boucher? Yes. Councilor Devereaux? Yes. Councilor Gabrielson? Yes. Councilor Penelope Jordan? Yes. 
Councilor Noonan? Yes. Chairman Garvin? Yes. Motion carries. Great. Uh, next is then item 75-2021. Uh, this is a uh, motion to approve uh, the revenues that are uh, were outlined as part of the FY22 budget. Um, so this is not, um, this, this one is not to schedule a vote. This one is to actually approve the special revenue funds um, that are included in the package. Um, so is there a motion on this one? So move to approve the funds. Moved by Councillor Penny Jordan. Is there a second? I'll second that. Seconded by Councillor Devereaux. Is there any discussion on this? Matt, do you, or just again, for the benefit of anybody watching uh, at home or joining us now, is, is do you wanna give a, like a three second explanation of what the municipal special revenue funds are? <laughs> In case anybody goes back and watches this. Yep. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Uh, yeah, these are, uh, especially in many ways, our, our enterprise funds that we have throughout the, the town's budget, such as the Stewart Fund uh, and other funds that we receive throughout the course of the year, as well as special expenditures, land acquisition fund, uh, reserve replacement on turf, on turf field, uh, tax increment financing district and such, and Thomas Jordan fund with the donations that we put in there. So this is, uh, uh, in many ways, uh, standalone areas that are, you know, are oftentimes uh, accepted on this for, on this first meeting because it's a uh, it's more or less a one-to-one -one, uh, experience. Yep. Thank you. I just wanted to make that clear. And also, um, especially since he's joining us as part of the meeting too, um, thank you to John Cordararo um, for his and the rest of the staff's work in preparing all these items, um, and in particular to John too, because I know in the past couple of meetings we've. Um, done some work to reorganize some of the budgeting and accounting, um, moving some things out of special funds. So this, this list is a little bit shorter than it has been in the past because we've been moving some of those things that had been uh, longstanding special funds um, over into the operating budget. And so uh, I think on a go forward basis, that's gonna make a lot of sense and really reserve these, um, um, you know, these accounts for things that they're intended to be, which is, special funds and not operating expenses and operating revenues. So, um, so thank you, John, for um, your work to spearhead that. If there's no other um, discussion from anybody on this, we will go to the vote, Deb. Councilor Boucher? Yes. Councilor Devereaux? Yes. Councilor Gabrielson? Yes. Councilor Penelope Jordan? Yes. Councilor Noonan? Yes. Chairman Garvin? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. We are at the end of our regular agenda. If there are any citizens of the four remaining that wish to speak about anything that was not on tonight's agenda, now's your opportunity to do so again. Seeing no hands going up, is there a motion to adjourn for the night? I move we adjourn. Motion by Councillor Penny Jordan. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councillor Noonan. Uh, any discussion? I'll just take the opportunity to remind everybody that our meeting next Monday, the 10th at seven o'clock, again on Zoom, will be the town council vote on the fiscal 22 municipal budget as well as the uh, vote to send to referendum for citizen approval, the fiscal 22 school budget. Um, so while we had our public hearing on that just now, um, there will still obviously be opportunity for citizen comment as part of our regular agenda rules and procedures at that meeting on Monday. So Monday the 10th at seven o'clock for those items, uh, as well as our regular town council agenda uh, the rest of the evening. So. If there's no other discussion, can we call the roll for the adjournment, please? Councilor Boucher? Yes. Councilor Devereaux? Yes. Councilor Gabrielson? Yes. Councilor Penelope Jordan? Yes. Councilor Noonan? Yes. Chairman Garvin? Yes. Motion carries. Great, thank you everybody. Short and sweet. We'll see you next Monday night.
Have a good rest of the week. Wednesday, too, right? Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday for our workshop. Monday, Monday for meeting. So, yeah, I, thanks. I firmly remember okay. it this time. Yeah, now, you, now it's ingrained in your head, Matt. So. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. Good night.